Let's continue our talk about how stress can impact your sleep. Sleep can be impacted by stress because if you're worried about being chased by a tiger, being eaten or being having your house broken into, why would you be concerned with sleep? The answer is you wouldn't be, right? You're constantly on guard. What's very interesting is we react to the perception of danger. So think about this for a second. Your body's gonna create that stress hormone when you perceive danger. So that perceived fight you had with your child today or, or that argument you had with your spouse or that thing you have to face at work, those are all perceived dangers that our body is reacting to all the time. So here's the task. Write down your emotions on a piece of paper. If you can physically get them from here to a piece of paper, symbolically it's gonna help you kind of feel like you've kind of moved the needle in the right direction. So you've put your thoughts on paper and they're off to the side, tucked in a drawer somewhere, no longer just constantly stuck in here. Because when they're chronically stuck in there, what ends up happening is that your body's constantly thinking about all the outcomes that can possibly happen from those emotions. And what's interesting is your body is going to react whether it happened or didn't happen. So ask yourself that question. How many things are you worried about that probably won't happen? The answer is probably a lot. There might be some very real things that you react to that you're supposed to be stressed to. I understand that. But I think for the vast majority of people, we overthink things so much that we create our own chronic stress. And that's going to impact our sleep because the time that we're most efficient at getting some things sorted out because we're not so busy is the time your head is the pillow. And you're not supposed to be problem solving when your head is on the pillow. Unfortunately, that's the time that most of us have carved out to make that stuff happen. That's going to directly impact your sleep habits. So do this. Take a couple of minutes per day, two, three, four minutes per day, a couple different times per day just to maybe write down some of the things that are on your mind. Because if you can do that and get the emotions on paper, you're gonna to start to experience a little bit easier sleep, kind of going to sleep, because of the fact you're no longer playing with things inside your head. That might very well help you. And it's one of the things that I know helps a lot of my clients when it comes to me helping them with their sleep. So there's numerous different splinters you can have inside your body that are impacting your sleep. And as we've discussed previously, your sleep is the most potent thing you can do today to feel better tomorrow. So let's get to sleep. Let's hope it helps you. Let's get those emotions on paper and move forward. See you soon.